Here we're just going to interpret an existing linear model. We're given a linear model that describes the cost of a gym membership for a certain number of months. Here, P sub T equals 70 plus 30 times T. And we want to know what does the equation tell us. Let's compare this to the general linear model and see what we notice. So the general linear model says that the population or the amount at any given point in time is the original amount plus the growth rate times t. Matching this up to the one we're given, we notice that the initial amount is 70 and the growth rate is 30. So thinking in terms of the problem that we're given, the initial cost corresponds to a sign-up fee. So maybe it costs $70 to sign up for an account at this gym. And then each month, each additional month that's added, adds on $30 in cost, which means that the monthly cost must be $30. So the 70 corresponds to the initial fee, the 30 corresponds to the ongoing monthly fee.